So now they got another caper to feast our eyes on. Sp specifically tailored for the YouTube audience. Wow. I love the guy with the umbrella, the reporter there. He looks like he's under a shelter already. You know, it's part of the gag. Be your guest, Sam. He's okay, it looks like they were in a break there, hoping to get more information from them. And, uh, and we want to go back to them as they're doing an interview with someone we believe that was inside the building. Let's listen. But obviously, I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, uh, you must have been a nervous man this morning. It was a fairly terrifying experience. Um, but that's when you, you think, that this is what we trained for this moment. Now, let's go. Let's do it. This is no drill. Okay. This is no drill. Okay. This is no drill. Okay. No, no. No. No, you. You are complete. Me. All right, that's it from here. Uh, reporting uh, live, Sam Ford, back to you. Yeah. Don't be your guest, Sam. He's your guest. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if you weren't so pathetic. No, what the heck? I'll laugh anyway. Given that this is another occult ritual hoax, the idea that these guys were just on a break, joking. I guess to ease the tension after 13 people have just been shot to death is laughable. The umbrella plays a big part in this. This motif is all over the satanic music industry from Rihanna to JFK to Eminem. Talking about the Rain Man and the umbrella. If you go to Vigilant Citizen and look up the meaning of umbrella in terms of Rihanna's song, Umbrella, what does it mean? In a nutshell, the song talks about a storm that's about to take place and Rihanna offers her loved one protection under her umbrella. In this song, you can stand under my umbrella can have a sexual connotation but it mostly means you can be under my protection. When you are under something's protection, this something has more power than you regarding your own security. You depend on it. It has control over you. It possesses you. Song is not about love between woman and man. It's about being protected. It is not an equal relationship. The one that protects basically owns the person that is protected. Doesn't that sound awfully familiar? And isn't every one of these false flag hoaxes meant to protect the sheeple public? Isn't Obama's main platform concerning attacking Syria and opening up a new war all about protecting children? How they were so mercilessly gassed with those chemical weapons by those big bad El Cieda operative terrorists, rebels. They went and crossed the thin red line. So many of these shootings, sadly, that have happened, uh, and do everything that we can to try to prevent them. Now, uh, in recent weeks, much of our attention has been focused on the events in Syria. And the horrible use of chemical weapons on innocent people, including children, a lot more occult connotations when it comes to the umbrella, which I won't get into in this video. Yeah, the Rain Man, Satan, the synagogue of Satan, to Bollywood. I've been talking to a lot of my friends over the last few days. Uh, Max Malone, Tattoo Preloaded, uh, up north of the 49, my friend Kevin from Talk Shoe Radio. And uh, I, I've come up with a hunch. I mean, it was last night that I came up with it. And then this morning, uh, Montagraph made a video and 
he kind of said the same thing at the beginning, you know? Now, for all the people that have been following the Navy Yard shooting event, do I believe it happened? Yes, I do. Do I believe that people got killed? Absolutely. Do I believe that it was a random act of violence? No, I do not. I believe that it was a point of assassination. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking with it. Points of assassination? Wow, that's interesting. Montegraff is having a show tonight at 11 o'clock, as he does every Friday night with Chrissy Sumer. Can't wait to tune into that. Hope he's not talking about Obama. If he is, wow. People really do think our enemies are the good guys. I'd like to welcome you to the White House, sir. It's pretty similar to all the other hoaxes. It seems to be the same formula they're using. I don't know where they got this formula from. It, uh, it's a uh, kind of a new phenomenon in some ways. Just the way that they make it so obvious, and they do exactly the opposite. Uh, of, you know, a totally inappropriate emotional response. <laughs> Laughing, holding an umbrella when it's not raining. I, I thought that was bad luck. Maybe they are trying to conjure up bad luck as if America needs it. In each and every one of these spectacles, you know, he's got comes over this customary oratory prowess like Any state. please have a seat uh, uh, before I begin uh, let me say a few words about several people have been shot and some have been killed so uh, we are confronting uh, yet another mass shooting and today it happened on a military installation in our nation's capital. Uh, it's a shooting that targeted our military and civilian personnel. And these are men and women uh, who were going to work, doing their job, uh, protecting all of us. They're patriots. And they know the dangers of serving abroad, uh, but today they face the unimaginable violence uh, that they wouldn't have expected here at home. He leaves a lot of messages weaved into it. Like there's two things that make me think that there's more going on here than just a hoax. One is that they shut down the Reagan International Airport. And two is that umbrella. Don't be your guest, Sam. He's your guest. <laughs> no, seriously. Two is, is Obama's statement that uh, we're going to get to the bottom of it, even though they've, al they've already supposedly gotten to the bottom of it. After two years of watching these hoaxes, uh, I know that they have a few different agendas or goals with each hoax. You know, some of them are social engineering. But another reason why they use hoaxes is to cover up. It's like espionage. You have double agents, triple agents, stuff like that. So you have a hoax and uh, say the naval yard was a target for uh, a foreign power, maybe Syria, maybe Korea. I mean, after all, Olympus has fallen. It's so about Korea attacking the United States. The remake of Red Dawn was about Korea invading the United States. I don't know which power it was, but it's quite possible that they were actually attacked. And that, you know, some insiders, it had to have been insiders because these places are very secure. Again, we have no videotape of this guy, no, no evidence that he actually exists other than hearsay. He's a crazy person listening to voices through walls. I would say that it's possible. We have contact from inside the White House. 
and thinking about an insider, uh, you know, the American military must be split right down the middle. Total armed forces from sea to land, uh, you know, must be in this, almost to the point of mutiny because they know their government is serving a foreign power, committing treason on a daily basis. And there's a lot of honorable men and women in the armed forces. I think Obama called them patriots. So, heavily secured installation of foreign power, it's not as likely as maybe a mutiny. Ah, the word patriot, he, you know, he used that quite liberally in his uh, machine-like statement. So, is it possible that a patriot uh, mutiny was going on? That uh, they were already inside the naval base and they just, uh, they just gave the go word? They're patriots. And all the uh, the agents of that uh, particular scenario went into action. And it's a real time. And there was no drill, like the guy under the umbrella said. I don't know, it's just a thought. I mean, we'd probably never find out, really. But if anybody got any information tending towards that I'd like to hear it because uh, this one smells different it is, it, you know Sandy Hook was all about social engineering you know getting people to be happy instead of sad when your kid dies in a, or gets killed in a shot up shot in the face her elementary school. It's supposed to be happy that they've left this wretched world and are in the afterlife. All this new age bullshit. All this gun control. All this attitude towards guns. Alienating people from the very thing that is between the government and, and free people. People who want to keep their government in check. So that's one aspect of the hoax. The other, the other aspect of the hoax is, in, of course, damage control. If, if the DC Naval Yard was a mutiny, wouldn't they want to hide that as much as possible and then get to the bottom of it? Make up a whole legend about Aaron Alexis out of whole cloth to cover up the truth that there was a a mutiny on, on that naval base. It's possible. It's highly possible. I think. But, any more comments?